Hello there! I'm here with my friend Anna, also known as Blue Milk, and today we're going to be predicting our Star Wars futures with the 1 to 10 game. This is inspired by Chloe Dungate's 1 to 10 game, but with a Star Wars twist. Yay! Uh, do you want to introduce yourself and tell um, everyone a bit about you and your content? Oh, okay! Hello! I'm Anna, and as Livy said, my channel is called Blue Milk, which is a Star Wars reference because I'm such a nerd. Um, I do make some Star Wars content sometimes. I also like to do just like creative things, art stuff. I like to draw. I like a lot of fandom stuff, really. I feel like I'm in a lot of different fandoms, but mostly my content revolves around Star Wars which is how me and Livy became friends because we are both big Star Wars fans on social media. <laughs> okay, so how this works is Anna has given me five Star Wars characters. I have come up with another five Star Wars characters and I have put them on a list and given them a random number from one to 10. We've also come up with a list of Star Wars activities or scenarios. And when I read those out, you give me a number of one to 10. I will write it next to that character's name. You don't know what the character is. Then I'll read out the activities with the random character and you say whether or not you would do that. And then the number you say yes to is the one that is your Star Wars future. I hope that makes sense. Yes. Who from one to 10 um, are you going to compete in the platform classic against? Ooh, um, seven. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, I hope that means that it's going to be an easy person. Who would you live on Pabu with? Aww, um, three. That, yeah, that's all right. Um, who would you fight? Fight? Mm. Five. Straight down the middle. Oh, okay. Who would you train as your Padawan? Train as my Padawan? That sounds like a video that we just made. Um. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, yeah, did he mention? We also just filmed something for Anna's channel that may or may not also be about what, who we would, who or what we would be in the Star Wars universe. Oh my gosh, foreshadowing. Um, <laughs> let's go with four. Train number four, okay. Um, who would you turn to the dark side with? <sighs> Time here. I mean, oh, a number. Um, <laughs> eight. <laughs> okay. Eight. Who would you steal a TIE Fighter with? Oh, um, 10. That is so chaotic and I love it. Um, who would you secretly marry? <gasps> oh my gosh. Um, Anakin and Pamela Style. Have left? Um, you have one two, six, and nine. Okay. One. Yes. Good choice. Um, oh, thank you. Who would you be trapped in a trash compactor with? Ooh, ideally no one, but I suppose two. Oh. Uh, Trash compactor. Who would you send to the Sarlacc pit? Hemlock. Um. <laughs> nine. Nine. Oh. Oh no! <laughs> Wait, that was the wrong answer. <laughs> um. Uh, I don't think you'd like either option. Um, and last, you get a choice between two. You either execute Order 66 with, or they Order 66 you. 
so I don't even know if like they're like an actual like antagonist or not. Based on the way that you reacted saying that I wouldn't want to send either character to the oh. Starlack pit, I wouldn't want to order 66 anybody, so I'll get I'll I'll sacrifice myself. You know, Tony Stark style. Okay, so we have the list of characters. And you finally get to know who you have picked. Oh my so gosh. So would, would you secretly marry Kazuda Ziono? Oh my god! No! <laughs> I thought you would! No! Wait, so, <laughs> let's, um, no disrespect, I love Kaz so much. <laughs> He's like a he's like a brother, you know. He's like one of those guys. that's like, you know, like Kaz. You know, I actually I had I had canon him as gay anyway, so like that wouldn't work for either of us. <laughs> that's so funny. That's exactly. cute. I would be best would friends. You, would you be trapped in a trash compactor with crosshair? <gasps> oh my gosh. I, if he was characterized, like in those fan fictions, when he's like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like YN, he's across, probably get you out of that. I've read that, obviously. <laughs> but if he, but if if I were imagining what that would be like, I think we could make it work. You know. <laughs> I honestly, I would annoy him so much to the point where he'd be like, I have to get out of here and he would find a way faster than I could. So yes. I think, yeah, I think Crosshair could get you out of there. Um, unless you want to stay in there for some reason. Um, what? 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 what kind of reason? What? <laughs> would you live on Pabu with the Cantina Band? Oh, um, is this assuming we're living together? Or I just, they, they're my next door neighbor. Um, you're living, well, I think they're like practicing their, their music like all the time. So whether you live with them or you're sharing a wall with them, it's the same. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's okay. I, I, I like live music. <laughs> Would you train tech as your Padawan? The implications of that? Um, that would be insane. Y yeah, if that was possible, of course. That would be so cool. You could you could teach him how to levitate himself. <laughs> so he doesn't fall. <laughs> If I, I'm, sorry, yeah, I'm so sorry for that. Things would have turned out way differently if I was <laughs> training him as my pad one. Yeah. Would you fight Sabine Wren? <gasps> um. Yes. Because like, what if I was like fight. Shin and like Sabine was like fighting, oh, you know? Like, like, oh, have you seen Shira? Have you seen Shira and the Princess of Power? Yes, I have seen Shira. I watched Voltron. Of course, I've also watched Shira. <laughs> We've. No, I should have known. <laughs> That's true. We are a certain demographic of cartoon watchers. Okay, like fighting Sabine Wren, like Catradora style. I've also watched Gravity Falls and the Owl House. So that's. <laughs> that. Yep. Like that, I think that's my are. personality. <laughs> uh, was uh, wait, 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 wait. Why did you say Shira? Oh, like Sabine Wren, oh. like um, um, Catra, and is that what you mean? Adora yeah, and Catra. Like, yeah. yeah. Like I, like I wouldn't. Mind. I see it now. You want okay, so so you'd fight Sabine Wren because you want that enemies to lovers. Don't you get it? Yeah, uh, yes. <laughs> yes. Speaking of, would you let Fennec Shand order 66 you? <gasps> yes. 
<laughs> yeah, I, I would I would do anything for her and I would let her do anything to oh yeah, I would say I'm sorry. I, I, I clearly I've done something wrong and obviously you may order 66 me. That is beyond okay. <laughs> would you compete in the platform classic against Chopper? Against Chopper? No. Against Chopper. <laughs> You're so racing scary. against Chopper. And um, he would shoot you out of the sky in two seconds. Yeah. No, that's scary. I... No. Would you turn to the dark side with Hondo Onaka? Um... No. That that sounds like that 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 sounds like a big <laughs> commitment because somehow I would end up indebted to him, and now we're both on the dark side. Yeah, he, there's too many strings attached for me. Yeah, with Honda and Aka, it seems like some sort of like dark side scam mm -hmm. pyramid scheme thing. So yeah, that's next one. Would you send? Tamrivora to the Sarlacc pit. No! No! Never! No! I could never do that to her. Oh my gosh, no. I would make her a cup of tea and prepare a nice little blanket oh, yeah. and say, you've had a long day. Oh, she has. She has. She's had a long day. Um, and finally, would you steal a TIE fighter with Jar Jar Binks? <laughs> Um, you see, no, <laughs> because, 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 like, he's very clumsy, and somehow we'd be caught, and that would yeah, be bad for me, that's and fair. for him, that's fair, and I don't really want to be putting us in trouble like that. Plus, I believe in the theory that he's a Sith Lord, so that's the kind of wacky girl I am. Exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so if that was also so. true... <laughs> no. Yeah, either way, it's not as good as I thought it might be. Like, I thought that would be a fun episode of Rebels to watch, but not fun to actually do. Yeah, you're right. If, if I was Ezra, I would so, say yes, let's... but I'm not Ezra, so... <laughs> yeah, yeah. So let's count this up. You said yes to five, which means number five on the list. Congratulations, you're going to fight Sabine Wren. Oh my gosh, wait. That's actually, thank you. That's a very nice scenario. You're getting to think your about. enemies to lovers, Catradora arc. Oh yeah. Congratulations. Hey, Sabine. Hey, Adora. That's what I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. That worked out really well for you. It did work out really well for me. Let's see if it'll work out just as well for you. Yes. <laughs> I have sent Anna my five characters. She has five for me. Yes. I have your one through 10 here. I think I have a good mix. Let's see. First, who would you go on a blind date with? Hmm. Let's say, start in the middle, five. Five, okay. Who would you train with as your master? So this character is your master. Two. Hmm. Who would you steal the Death Star plans with? Nine. Nine? <laughs> That, that is silly. <laughs> Who would you sing a romantic duet with at the cantina? One. La, la, la. Karaoke time. Who would you be the co-pilot for? Three. Wait, actually you would love that. That's actually really good. Oh, great. Okay, who would you share a bunk with on the Ghost or Marauder or whatever respective ship? Six. 
six. Okay. Who would you think that's <laughs> oh, no. it? I didn't like, like that. Seven. I, well, seven. Okay. Oh, well, that's that's cute. Wait, am I giving away too much throat? <laughs> <laughs> um. Who would you rat out to the Empire or First Order where they're hiding? Ten. Ten. Okay. Who would you switch lives with for one day? Uh, what numbers do I have left? Four? Four. And then now, you get a choice between you win the Darksaber from them or you steal the Darksaber from them. I win the Darksaber oh. from or they from win it them. from me. Mm -hmm. uh, well, uh, I want the Darksaber, so I'm going to win it from them. Yeah, you are. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, which I am. Left? Yeah, right. Yeah, um, you are. Wait, which one is eight? left? Eight. eight. Oh my gosh. Sorry. I'm a, I'm a funny girl. Eight. Oh my gosh. Oh no. This is making me. Your, your reaction made me so nervous. So first, you are going to sing a karaoke love duet with Agent Callis. Yeah. As long as it's fun, end of Rebels, Fulcrum, Agent mm -hmm. Callus, yeah, I definitely would. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We'd sing. By the end, um, by the end, he's cool. Yeah, we'd sing um, "Pink Pony Club" by Chapel Rowan. That'll be our karaoke <laughs> song. <laughs> he he would listen to Chapel Rowan. That's that's extremely correct. <laughs> oh yeah, that that is a Chapel Rowan listener if I have ever seen one. Um, oh, that is extremely correct. Okay. So, your master would be Padme Amidala. Will you train with her? <gasps> yes, definitely. Definitely. Isn't that awesome? That's so cool. Okay. This is the co-pilot one, with, which I think you'll really like. You would co-pilot with Hera. <gasps> yes! Yes! Absolutely! Definitely! <laughs> right? Yes. That would be perfect. Okay, and then you yeah. would... Yeah, I, yeah. I'm basically Kane and Jarrus piloting the ghost for the love of my life. Yes, definitely. Yeah, oh my gosh. <laughs> that is actually the ideal scenario. Besides my enemies to lovers with Sabine. That's cool. <laughs> um, so, would you switch lives with Bucket? Yeah, yeah, and live on the Colossus, definitely. Yeah, that's... He's, he's pretty funny. Yeah, I'd be like besties with the Fireball crew, that's perfect. Okay, this is the one, this is the blind date one, but I'm gonna change it because I'm gonna say, would you go on a blind date with someone who Omega sets up for you? Can Omega set me up on a blind date with someone from the Bad Batch, maybe? <laughs> Oh, so we're saying yes? Yeah? yeah, 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 yeah. I would let Omega set me up on a blind date with someone from the Bad Batch, yes. <laughs> I, I, would, I would let her do that too. I'd be like, shoot. <laughs> um, speaking of the Bad Batch, would you share a bunk with the bunk beds? Yeah, like yeah. top, bunk bed or bottom with um, Hunter? Yes, yes. Yeah, that'd be cool. I'd love to live on the Marauder. Yeah, I feel like all, all of these have been so the nice. Probably, yeah, right. Well, because <laughs> um, I just I like I like nice stuff. I can't really I can't be like, will you would you kill your best friend or something? That's that's sad. <laughs> would you pet sit Niku's love cat? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely. That's wait, it, but it's but it's not really a loath cat. It's Bebo, isn't it? He's trying to get me to pet sit Bebo. I still would though. That's true. He he doesn't have a cat. He does have Bebo. That weird thing. Didn't Bebo smell? Didn't they say that like it smelled or something? I know, I know that Bebo smelled, but like Bebo's cute, and I, yeah, I would have Bebo as my pet. I would do anything for Niku. Okay, here is the like question the choosy the one where you had to choose you said you would steal the dark saber from ahsoka tano 
No, no, I could not do that. She would defeat me in an instant. And I think that she's such a good leader, I wouldn't want to. Like, she can lead the Mandalorians. That's, that's absolutely fine. I am saying no to that one. Ahsoka can have the Darksaber. I, I could not beat her in a fight. I would never even try to. <laughs> It's, it's good to know your place in the Star yeah. Wars world. Yes, yes. <laughs> I, I okay. could never win a fight against Ahsoka and I would never try to. Same. That's, that's scary, that's intimidating. Um, would you steal the Death Star plans with a Gorg? Hmm. That Gorg would not have, um, any use at all he would he would not be any help um like I, I probably would want to steal the death star plans just because that's the 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 the, the thing to do if there are death star plans you've got to steal them um but i would not choose a gorg as my partner to steal the death star plans with i would probably choose just about anyone or anything else in the universe to, to, to steal the Death Star plans with, so I'm going to say no for this one. Would you steal the plans with Jar Jar Binks? Oh, yeah, even Jar Jar Binks would be better than a Gorg, um, but I would also probably say no to Jar Jar probably. Binks. <laughs> yeah, but a Gorg could like chomp people's hands, you know? Yeah, maybe, but there were like a lot of stormtroopers on Scarif. I don't even think a, a gorg could make its way through all those. Yeah, you need to Okay, last strategy. one. Would you rat out to the First Order where <gasps> Kragen is hiding? Oh, Kragen. Actually, because like in season one, I definitely would. And in season two, he's a little bit nicer. But I probably still would. Like if it was to, to save anyone from the Fireball crew, I would absolutely write him out in, in an instant. So uh, yes, I would. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you said yes to eight out of 10, which means that the eight one is true is that right yes the eighth one what was the eighth one the eighth one was you would not win the dark saber from ahsoka so she no. would hold on to the dark saber no that's the one the one i said no to is the one i have to do i have to try and steal oh <gasps> oh no that's what i'm gonna have to do Oh no. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, wait. Oh no, this didn't turn out so well. Maybe, maybe, you know, Ahsoka's really benevolent. Maybe she'd be like, I can tell Libby doesn't want to fight. I'll let them live. Is that a fight to the death? I just have to like attempt to fight Ahsoka. Or then like, I can't be best friends with Ahsoka if I've tried to fight her for the Darksaber, but. Oh, there's so many good ones on that list. <laughs> Sorry, no, just kidding. You're gonna co-pilot with Hera. Yay! That's, that's your true ending. <laughs> no, it's okay. I accept my fate. <laughs> just as I've accepted mine. <laughs> yeah, you can't, you can't always have a good ending in Star Wars. Okay, is it outro time? <laughs> I think it might be. This has been so fun. Thank you so much, Anna, for playing with me. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.